Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Don's Lawns. Yeah, Don's Lawns is so big. Obviously, you can tell that we have started working on this part of the St. Augustine. I was actually just mowing it, and the mower sucked up some chunks, so I went ahead and pulled up anything that was not attached, and it literally came up in almost like sheets of sod. However, they're not the actual pieces of sod because this is four-year-old St. Augustine. So it's been rooted in, it's been grown in. It's just that the roots are no moss. They're no longer existent. So this is a typical take all root rot type scenario where the roots literally rot out. And you're left with dead grass. Okay, so I went ahead and I pulled up anything that wasn't thoroughly tacked down with good roots or anything that was pretty close to dying or already dead. Pretty big chunk, nice big piece. So what we probably can do with this size portion is fill it back in with sod. It is the fall, so it probably will not grow in as quickly as if this was in the spring because St. Augustine really loves those warm temperatures. But where I'm at, we're still getting pretty hot temp, so it's a good chance that some sod might stick. We'll just have to see if I can go find some. First thing though, I'm gonna go through, rake everything out, try to get as much out as I can that's not necessary to be there or that's already on its way out. So we're gonna give it a nice raking. And then I'm gonna apply some propiconazole and some disease X to try to combat it from spreading. See, the roots are just rotting, just disappearing. So like I said earlier in my other video, maybe earlier in this video, a couple things probably happened that caused this to take off. A, the disease was always there. It was just kind of dormant. The disease triangle wasn't fully complete. So what probably happened was all that rain from Hurricane Hannah really got in and soaked in there. We've had lots of heat and humidity and my grass is very thick. So St. Augustine automatically is more vulnerable to fungus and other types of diseases because of that, the way it grows and how it's so thick. So we've got multiple situations there that occurred. Everything happened, the disease manifested and I wasn't on top of it fast enough. So now I have to deal with big open bare spots until I can get grass to fill in or sod it and let it recover that way. Something else you may want to consider when you're looking at the disease triangle is your watering habits as well. A lot of times people are watering their grass in the late evening or at night and St. Augustine because of the way it grows and how 
it's so susceptible to disease, you do not want to water St. Augustine at night. I recommend St. Augustine getting watered in the morning because it's got more time to dry out and absorb the water during the day, whereas at night, cooler temperatures, high humidity, and it's wet. I mean, you're just asking for disease. So remember, don't water your St. Augustine at night, only in the morning. And I may actually improve some of my drainage here and try to work on that as well to try to eliminate so much water collecting right there. So those are multiple things right there that you can do to try to prevent this from happening. So I just applied the propiconazole and the ZZX pretty heavy handedly on that section because it is an active battle with fungus. I'm going to do my best to knock it out with that. I'm going to also apply and then I'll probably water it in a little bit and hopefully see how it goes. Stay posted because I'm going to show you some results right now. <laughs> 